Hello and welcome to my quick test of the GT5 TP, um, the 8 watt tri power radio from Baofeng. Um, this radio's been out for a little while now, but I was given it to test. It has the dual PTT button there, the same as the UV82 and the 82 Plus. Uh, it's got a nice rubberized backlit keypad, which is fantastic in the dark. Claims to be an 8 watt radio, but we'll test that functionality. It has a um, male SMA connector in the top there, flashlight, and a nice large on off knob, volume knob. Uh, the battery appears to be the same as the battery in the UV82 and the 82 Plus. It's a similar format, but it actually isn't the same as we'll see. Um, the battery that comes with it clips on firmly on the back there. It also comes with a belt clip, this radio. The usual menu on the front, the standard Baofeng menu. Right, on the scales, there you go, is the weight of the, of the radio, the, the battery, and then the radio and the battery together. Okay. Now the, the base looks like your standard Baofeng base, but it's actually uh, not. It's actually bespoke to the GT5 TP. Um, here it is in the size comparison compared to the UV82. As you can see, it's a similar size, perhaps a little bit slimmer and a little bit more rounded off towards the edges. I overall quite like the, the styling of the new GT5 TP. It's rather nice, feels nice in the hand. Um, I just thought I would test to see if the UV82 battery fitted into the uh, GT5 TP, but although it looks the same, as you'll see here, it actually doesn't fit. I did try for a little while, sli sliding it on and off, but the same as the UV82 and the UV82 Plus, these batteries are not interchangeable. I don't know if this is done by the manufacturer on purpose. Uh, and also, the UV82 doesn't fit into the base of the new GT5 TP. It's a standard Baofeng menu, as you can see there, this one offering try power up to a maximum of 8 watts. Here's the uh, power test settings on UHF onto the collinear on the roof. We're just over 3 watts there on UHF. Medium power setting UHF 2.5, so not much of a difference there. Then low power setting about half a watt, so a good difference there actually. And that will save your battery in that mode. High power VHF over 5, about 5.5 five watts. Medium power slightly less at 4, a bit more usable. And low power, there you go, one watt. Let's listen to it out in the field. This is G7LNK, portable testing the GT5 TP at location 83 miles on high power VHF, 12345-54321. This is G7LNK, portable with the GT5 TP at location um, A, approximately 3 miles UHF test, 12345. 54321 high power test. This is G7 LNK portable testing the GT5 TP location B approximately 6 miles 12345 54321. This is G7 LNK portable with the GT5 TP at location B approximately 6 miles VHF test 12345 54321. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I think you'll agree with me that the audio from that radio is fantastic. If you look at the UV82 videos and compare them side by side, you'll see. It's also a very punchy radio. It outputs plenty of power, more than enough for most folks, I would imagine, and it offers all the, the usual functionality of the Baofeng radios. Um, I can highly recommend this radio as an upgrade to the UV82, certainly as a better upgrade than the UV82+. Plus. If you've enjoyed this video, thanks ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Bye now.